Okay, love to rip here. I'm um, just gonna give you a quick update on something that happened to me this morning. Um, six weeks ago, I was flying my Stingy V1 and an ESC gave out in midair and came down. I think we had snow then. Um, I posted the video, but just to rem remind you, here's a here's a quick clip of it right now. <laughs> So anyway, I went through and uh, replaced the ESC with the 24 amp. Uh, I had a couple spares, so I did that. And then um, I actually forgot about the frame after that. Um, I just put it up on my wall there, hung it up, and it sat there until this morning. So uh, I was down here this morning, 7 o'clock, thought I'd do a quick rip. And uh, I thought, oh, I haven't tested it out, so I'll give it a shot. So I did that. I uh, went to a different location today. Um, one thing I totally forgot about was my rates. So um, over the past month, I've been adjusting my rates to try and get a, a better feel uh, for the quads. So I think I have four of them that I'm playing around with right now. Um, but I forgot about the Stingy uh, and the rates on that one were much more aggressive. That's what I was flying with last year. Um, so anyway, I took off and uh, I just went to do a flip, but it went a lot faster than I thought. and. Uh, <laughs> Everything went upside down, right side up. I didn't know which way was what, and I tried to correct, um, but I ended up hitting the ground. So uh, when I hit the ground though, uh, I just took off the goggles like normal. I looked over and I could see a fire starting. And then it got bigger <laughs> and some smoke. Um, I thought it was a battery, so um, I hightailed it over there and uh, quickly noticed it was the ESC, so unplugged the power. But I, that was my first experience with any kind of fire on these quads. Um, I think I started flying two years ago, two years ago in April. Uh, never never had anything like that before, so that was that was a little scary. So here's a quick shot of the uh, of the damage. So you can see the ESC here. Um, I don't know if the light's any good. Uh, just it charred up, went up in smoke. Um, this is the same one I replaced actually. Uh, the first time it fried on me, so I don't know if it was bad wiring or I don't know. I'm kind of thinking maybe when I hit the ground because it was flying fine and steady, I just couldn't correct it properly. I'm wondering if the prop maybe struck when it hit the ground and that I don't know. That started something. I'm not sure. So it's a little uh, <laughs> a little charred up. Um, so I'll, I think I have a couple left, so I'm going to replace that. Prop obviously got a little bit uh, smoky. Um, but the bell too is got some um, some stuff from the flame there. I guess some char on there. The motor spins fine. Uh, I don't think that's going to be an issue. I think that's the just the soot from the fire there, uh, cosmetic. So I will replace that and I don't know. Cross my fingers that works this time. So I guess moral of the story is um, keep up to date on your birds. Know what you're flying. Um, Vic FBV posted a really good video a couple of weeks ago uh, about um, you know just flying the same equipment all the time so you get used to it and I totally agree with him on his on his video and commented the same and I I did the exact opposite I totally forgot about my rates so uh, anyway lesson learned enjoy the video Fast run. Telemetry lost. Yes, sea caught fire. Nasty.